Today I'm going to show you a few buttercream piping techniques for beginners. I'm very excited. This is actually part one of a three part series where I cover buttercream piping techniques. If you are new to my channel and would like to learn everything there is to know about cake decorating, make sure you subscribe to see more tips, tutorials, and product reviews. All of the techniques that we cover in the series are going to be created using a number 21 piping tip. You'll notice that there's also a coupler on this bag. This is completely optional, but to learn how to use and why we use a coupler, check out this video. Our very first technique is the star. You see here, we're gonna hold our bag vertically and we're gonna lightly touch the surface and we're gonna squeeze while keeping our tip down. We stop completely and then lift straight up. Now let's take a look at this technique from overhead. Here we're gonna repeat the same steps. We go down, we squeeze, stop completely and lift straight up. And that is a star. And you can see is a very, very simple technique. I've seen people ice entire cakes with just this one technique and they make it a little different by changing the color. If you are going to give this technique a try, Make sure that you pipe your stars very, very close to each other to avoid gaps. Here are a few mistakes that I see when people are attempting to make stars. The first one is not holding the tip down completely. If you lift your tip upward, you come out with this shape. The other mistake that I see people make a lot is not stopping completely before you lift up. When you do that, you get a very pronounced point. These are not stars. Our next technique is the rosette. With this technique, we hold our tip vertically, but we hover above the surface. Now let's take a look at that technique overhead. Here we again hover above the surface, we squeeze and form a very tight loop onto itself, relax pressure at about seven o'clock and lift off. And again, I will repeat the same steps. Relax pressure and lift off. And again, feel free to try this technique going clockwise or counterclockwise whichever is most comfortable for you. Again, we relax pressure, lift off the side. So it's not a hard stop like with the star. Here are some common mistakes I see when people attempt rosettes. The first is continuing to go around and around and around. You really only want to make one full rotation to create a rosette. The next mistake I see is that people actually have a hole in the center of their rosette. Another one I see quite often is if your tip is too close to the surface, you scrape your icing and make a very flat rosette. And then finally, a lot of people struggle with keeping their tip at the same level as they go around. They have this urge to lift up at the end. While these are all very beautiful, they're not rosettes. Our final technique is the zigzag. Now we hold our bag at a 45 degree angle and we squeeze with nice even pressure and move our tip toward ourselves, away from ourselves, toward ourselves, away from ourselves, all while moving our tip to the right. Stop completely, lift straight off. Now let's take a look at this technique from above. Again, we slightly touch the surface, have our bag at a 45 degree angle, toward ourselves, away from ourselves, toward ourselves, away from ourselves. If you are right handed, you start on the left and go to the right. And if you're left handed, you're gonna start on the right and move your arm to the left. The biggest mistake I see most people make with this technique is that they hold their tip at a 90 degree angle instead of a 45. Want to be mindful of your hand position in this situation. Again, 
this is not a zigzag. So we've covered stars, rosettes, and zigzags. But I want to know what you think. Let me know in the comment box below. What was your favorite technique? It's really important to practice. So remember, you do not have to bake to practice as long as you have a bag, tips, icing, and parchment paper. You can practice any time. If you enjoyed this video, hit the like button below and to be notified when I post part two of the three part series, make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell. As always, thanks for watching. Until next time.